Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Mrs. Tiasa Putri, SSMPD, as the examiner. The Honorable Mr. Edi Pujo Basuki, SPD MPD, as the examiner. The Honorable Mr. Mujadidin Afandi, SSMPD, as the advisor who was very helpful in the preparation of this thesis proposal. I am Saidatul Alfia with student identification number 4330019007 from English Education Department, <coughs> Faculty of Teacher Training and Education, Universitas Nadatul Ulama Surabaya, will present my thesis proposal entitled The Effectiveness of Kampung English Language Center Content on Instagram in Improving Students' English Vocabulary Mastery. Okay, this is the chapter one, background of the study. Vocabulary is one of the components of language that can support the other four language skills such as reading, speaking, listening, and writing. Improve student vocabulary mastery, teachers in school must create fun strategies and media to help students acquire new vocabulary that helps students more easily remember the vocabulary that they are learning. Students as a user of digital media can use social media as an educational tool that is more innovative than the classical way of learning in the classroom. Instagram can be an alternative in the learning process, especially in learning English, because Instagram is an interesting and fun medium for students in, or in order to help support student vocabulary mastery. And I, uh, I use media from Kampung English Language Center contents in Instagram as a media vocabulary learning of this study. And the second is statement of the problem. There is two statement of the problem of this study. The first is Kampung English Language Center contents on Instagram effective to improve students' English vocabulary mastery. Number two is what is the student perception of Kampung English Language Center content on Instagram to improve student English uh, vocabulary mastery. And the next is objective of the study. The first is to find out the effectiveness of Kampung English Language Center contents on Instagram to improve student English vocabulary mastery. And the second is to find out the student's perception on Kampung English Language Center con contents on Instagram. The next is significance of the study. The first is theoretically and the second is practically. The first is provide knowledge about learning media in the aspect of increasing English vocabulary mastery. And the second is for the student, for the teacher, and for the other researchers. For the student, improving their vocabulary mastery for the teacher is a reference for teachers teaching English. And uh, for the other researchers is, a, is an additional reference. And the next is assumption and limitation of the study. The first is Kampung English Language Center content on Instagram as a learning media can effectively increase students' vocabulary mastery. And the second is the vocabulary used in this study are nouns, verbs, and adjectives. This is the chapter two. The first is theoretical study. There are vocabulary is not just a list of words print alphabetically in dictionary that must be mastered. But vocabulary is an effective communication tool in English for foreign language. And the second is types of vocabulary. According to Susanto and Hedge and Brown, vocabulary is divided into two types. The first is receptive vocabulary. Vocabulary is the vocabulary encountered by the learner while reading and listening. 
And the second is productive vocabulary is the vocab vocabulary encountered by the learner while reading while writing and speaking and the third is part of speech uh, there are so many part of speech namely nouns verbs adjective adverbs determiner conjunction preposition and pronoun and the fourth is vocabulary learning the learning process and the way student master vocabulary learning are strongly influenced by the learning method used by the teacher. And the fifth is instructional media and learning vocabulary. In, um, in improving student learning outcomes, the use of media, especially in presentation, has a significant and beneficial impact on learning. The purpose of using media in presentation is to assist all of the learner sense in form of uh, audio visual and audio visual and the last is instagram and english learning contents instagram has a greatly affects student vocabulary because this application can increase students vocab vocabulary through the features provided either through caption photo or videos and the next is conceptual framework this is my conceptual framework. The first is difficulty, the difficulties uh, studies in mastering English vocabulary. And the second is using Kampung English Language Center contents on Instagram, Instagram. And uh, as the result, content on Instagram improving students' English vocabulary effectively and students' perception on Kampung English Language Center contents on Instagram. And the uh, chapter three, the first is type and design of the study. Uh, type and design, type of the study is quantitative method and the uh, design of the study is experimental design. Time and location of the study is 20, 2022 and 2023 academic year around February 2023. And location of the study is Junior High School, Taman District in Sidoarjo. This is the population and sample of the study. The population is uh, has uh, two class. The first is 7A, 7 seven grade A and uh, 7 grade B. And there are uh, 30 student of 15 15 student of uh, each class and the total population is 30 students and the sample is a uh, class 7 class a as a experimental group and 7 class B as a control group each uh, class have uh, 15 students and the total sample is 30 students and this is the data collect collection techniques. I use the pretest and posttest. Uh, student has to answer to 20 questions about vocabulary for 20 minutes. And the instrument of the study is pretest uh, for experimental and control group, treatment for experimental group, posttest exper for experimental and control group, and questionnaire for experimental group. This is the validity and reliability test. Uh, the validity is to test validity. The researcher use correlation Pearson product moment by SPSS 24.0 version. And there are two possibilities for the result, which are if the result of air count more than a table, the test declares valid. If the result of air count less than air table, the test declares invalid. And for the reliability, the researchers use the alpha Kronbeck to test reliability by SPSS. There are two possibilities. The first is if the alpha Kronbeck more than 0 0.6, the variable declare reliable. And the second is if the alpha Kronbeck less than 0 0.6, the variable declares unreliable.
and the last is data analysis technique. The procedure of analyzing data is put in the data on the table and then interviewing interviewing outcome coverage before and after. After it pairs sample statistic, summarize the result of the calculation using SPSS 24.0 version. The procedure of the data analysis techniques use descriptive statistic and inferential statistic. The first is descriptive, descriptive statistic. They are to describe the condition of the research as median, mean, and standard deviation. And the second is inferential statistic. For after getting the description statistic result, the researchers use the t-test formula by using SPSS 24.0. Honorable examiner and my advisor, I have finished presenting uh, my thesis proposal. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.